In our special coverage of SMEs today, we had to Anhui province to find out how rural banks and microloans can change the lives of villagers, farmers and those working in small-scale factories. Our Martina Fuchs is in Anhui province, Ma and Shan City. This is Ma An Shan, a city of some 1.3 million people in Anhui province in eastern China, located on the lower reaches of the Yangtze River. In September, China's State Council released a guideline to promote the Yangtze River economic belt into a new engine for the development of the whole region. The main industries are iron and steel, electricity production, machinery and textiles that employ most of the workforce here. But there are also the farmers that still remain a backbone of the economy. Banks in Anhui province have been promoting rural lending services for them for years. But more recently, the lenders have further simplified and broadened their loan procedures. Some have even launched promotional tours and door-to-door -door services to attract more clients. One of them is Manshan Rural Commercial Bank. We provide two types of loans to farmers. One is for production, the other is for consumption. Production includes starting their own businesses, planting or feeding livestock. Consumption covers building of homes and purchasing commodity goods. We're heading out to the countryside to see where the loans granted by the bank are going. Our bank is large. It covers six counties, 200,000 people, 50 families. We've lent 500 million yuan to farmers. The total lending volume is about one trillion. Further afield, we meet Mr. Yao, who is running a small agribusiness called the Four Seasons Fruit Company. Thanks to the bank loans, he has been able to build dozens of greenhouses where strawberries, apples and peaches are growing all year around. The borrowing limit used to be as low as 300 to 500 yuan, but now we can borrow as much as 500 thousand yuan. The process is short and the service is good. It's very convenient to get funding now. Many of the borrowers are hopeful that with the financial support, some of their dreams may come true. Mr. Wang's textile factory, for example, in the same area, is so far producing clothes for big global brands such as Colvin Klein. But in the future, he wants to take the needle into his own hands. We plan to have a thousand workers in three years' time, working in our factory and building up a brand. Money from Ma Anshan Rural Commercial Bank would help us to go further. Back in the capital Beijing, the World Bank is also active in targeting micro and small businesses and has worked with the Ma Anshan Rural and Commercial Bank. The global lender's cumulative lending to China reached close to 54 billion U.S. dollars for a total of 376 projects as of June last year. This project added a new dimension to China's financial inclusion because in the past people were used to the uh, Grameen type of microfinance, uh, which tended to over uh, emphasize on poverty reduction through subsidized lending, group uh, uh, lending, etc., etc. But this project emphasizes individual lending, commercial sustainability, and uh, most of all, it actually, uh, most important of all, it emphasized on the uh, sustainability of the loans. Uh, based on the cash flow analysis and the uh, willingness and the capacity to repay by the borrowers. The small bank loans might just be a drop in the bucket, but for the people in China's rural areas, they paved the way for a better future. Martina Fuchs, CCTV News, in Ma'anshan, Anhui Province.